Hello students, I am Ranjan Dash. Today I am very happy to present you a very important organic conversion chart of aliphatic compounds. And this chart will be very much fruitful for class 11 and class 12 students. Okay, let's start. And here in this chart, will start with methane you know methane in this chart three or four key compounds are there and starting from those key compounds we will explain the full chart let us start with methane methane can be treated with copper catalyst at about 300 degree centigrade and we can have methanol Methanol further oxidation and you know primary alcohol oxidizes to form formaldehyde or methanol. Methanol further oxidation forming formic acid. Formic acid at about 180 degree centigrade can give you oxalic acid. Methanol whenever treated with chlorine and you know in presence of diffuse sunlight we are getting methyl chloride and methylene chloride and chloroform step by step and the finally carbon tetrachloride so methyl chloride methylene chloride chloroform and carbon tetrachloride from methane we can also have methyl iodide whenever it is treated with red P and I2. Methyl iodide, two moles of methyl iodide can combine by Wood's reaction, you know, sodium and ether, we are getting, getting ethane. From ethane, we can have ethyl iodide by adding red P and I2. Ethyl iodide, ethyl iodide, whenever treated with AgNO2, you know, silver nitrite, so we are getting nitroethane now that part is over from methane so methane to methyl chloride methylene chloride chloroform and carbon tetrachloride methane on oxidation methanol formaldehyde formic acid and oxalic acid from methane to methyl iodide ethane ethyl iodide and and ethyl iodide whenever it is silver nitrite we are getting nitroethane. Now, let's look at this compound, you know, CH3COH, ethanoic acid or acetic acid. Ethanoic acid or acetic acid is a very important compound and having high synthetic value. So, from acetic acid, you know, acetic acid can be reduced by lithium aluminium hydride or sodium amalgam. Um, in water so we are getting ethan ethanol whenever treated with pcl3 pcl5 or socl2 from ethanol we are getting ethyl chloride ethyl chloride by wood's reaction in presence of sodium and ether we can have butane n butane n butane can undergo oxidation and we can have one butanol one butanol can also be converted to two butanol that is isomerization can be done using alcl3 two butanol two butanol whenever treated with conk h2so4 and you know the product is the main product is butuin or two butin 2 butene can be treated with bromine and we are getting 2,3 dibromobutene. 2,3 dibromobutene can be carried out with alcoholic KOH and the nature of the reaction you know, dehydrohalogenation reaction and we are getting 2 butene. 2 butene. Again, from ethanol, ethanol whenever oxidized 
by potassium dichromate in presence of conch H2SO4, we are getting acetaldehyde. And you know acetaldehyde, two moles of acetaldehyde, acetaldehyde having alpha hydrogen and two moles of acetaldehyde can combine in presence of NaOH alkali, we can get aldol compound by the aldol condensation reaction. And you know the name of the compound, 1, 2, 3, 3 hydroxy butanol. Acetaldehyde being an aldehyde compound can react with methyl magnesium bromide, Grignard reagent, and uh, we are getting 2 butanol. Sorry, sorry, not 2 butanol. It is 2 propanol. 2 propanol can be treated with conch H2SO4. Dehydration reaction will occur, and the product is propene. Propene can be treated with HBr, and you know the, the reaction follows Markovnikov's rule. And we are getting 2 bromopropane. And from here, ethanol, ethanol can be heated at about 443 Kelvin. If using conch H2SO4, dehydration reaction will occur. And the product here is ethylene. Ethylene, ethylene can be treated with Br2. Ethylene can be treated with Br2. Br2. Mm -hmm. Ethylene can be reacted with Br2, 1 to dibromethane, and 1 to dibromethane treated with alcoholic KOH, dehydrohalogenation reaction will occur, and the product is ethane or acetylene. Ethane or acetylene can be treated with sodamide in liquid ammonia, you know, 1 of acetylenic hydrogen may replace, and we are getting sodium acetylide sodium acetylide if the amount of sodamide is more so in that case we will have uh, that is both the hydrogen get replaced and then it, the product will be disodium acetylide but here the product is monosodium acetylide and which is treated with methyl iodide and simply sodium and iodine will remove and we are getting propyne propyne so that part is over okay and from ethanol and if the temperature is 443 then dehydration reaction and the product is ethylene but here whenever the temperature is less at about 413 kelvin so two moles of ethanol or uh, from two moles of ethanol one moles of one mole of water is removed and we are getting you know diethyl ether diethyl ether Ethanol uh, and here the another compound is acetic acid, very important compound, acetic acid. Acetic acid can be treated with Br2 and red P. We are getting two bromoacetic acid or mono bromoacetic acid and that can be treated with KCN and you know that is two cyano acetic acid and whenever it is hydrolyzed we are getting malonic acid we are getting malonic acid now let's look at the compound acetic acid from acetic acid we can also get acetyl chloride by treating with PCL3 acetic acid whenever treated with calcium hydroxide calcium hydroxide you know the we are getting calcium acetate calcium acetate undergoes dry distillation reaction and we are getting a very important compound acetone dry distillation acetone whenever treated with you know acetone whenever treated with CS3MGI that is methyl magnesium iodide 3 degree alcohol that is tertiary butyl alcohol is produced but whenever acetone is treated with ACN and the product is hydrolyzed, the product here we have lactic acid and the product here is lactic acid, you know, lactic acid, 2-hydroxypropanoic acid, the another name of the compound is lactic acid, 2-hydroxypropanoic acid. Now what is left here?
okay so another line which is still left and acetic acid a very important compound can be yeah can be obtained from acetamide okay and that uh, that is let's look at the compound methyl iodide methyl iodide whenever treated with casein the product is methyl cyanide and you know methyl cyanide undergoes hydrolysis reaction and forming acetic acid via acetamide via acetamide and here in uh, look at their compound ethyl iodide ethyl iodide can be treated with casein so number of carbon will increase in the chain and it will be you know ethyl cyanide and the cyanide compound and that cyanide compound can be reduced to oh, amine compound but here one mistake is there there will be one more CH2 group and the compound will be propylamine propylamine okay and that, that amine compound can also be obtained from the nitro compound by reduction with hydrogen and nickel catalyst so that's it from this chart so just go through the chart and try to observe it very carefully and practice practice and practice and you will get the perfection in organic reactions thank you